impressive tournament. That was a, a great finals to watch against a, a good opponent in Andrew Shrout. Mm -hmm. uh, three very exciting games. Oh yeah. The, lots of math involved with pack rats and voice tokens and stuff like that. Yep. Um, also an 11 round tournament to start your year. How's it feel to, to start 2014 off on a good note? Feels great. What more could you ask for? Yeah, exactly. Show up, win it all. Sure. <laughs> and of course, you're uh, you're still playing mono black. Yep. Uh, not really the consensus best deck, but pretty close to the consensus best deck in the format, and you've yeah. been writing about it a lot recently. Yep. Um, why is Mono Black consistently able to stay on top of the metagame? Uh, Mono Black is great because in a format like this, it's important to have a good, consistent mana base. Like if you play a deck like my opponent played, he has like guild gates, which means like some percentage of decks, or some percentage of games, his deck just doesn't function as intended because it's slower, or he doesn't get the right colors, or Mono Black. You just play 20 swamps and you hope to draw a number of swamps. Sure. And there's no problem there. It has Mutabolt, so it's very hard to mana flood. And it also has Thoughtseize, which greatly reduces the odds of your opponent having a, a perfect hand that beats you. Right. So it just gives you the best chance of playing a long, fair game of Magic. Sure. And you're also able to poke holes in a lot of strategies with the Absolutely. Thoughtseize, with, uh, with the Hero's Downfall, even Devour Flesh at, yep. on turn two, or even specific situations. Sure. Like we saw with the voice trigger on the stack is very yeah. able to take down certain things in certain situations that most people aren't prepared for. Yeah. So you are, according to our standings of the Players' Championship, you are 11th going into this tournament for this quarter. This is certainly going to raise your, your points probably into the top 10. Uh, are you keeping an eye on, on your positioning for head, heading forward in 2014 for the Players' Championship? No, oh, because I think it's impossible for me to even do anything, right? Doesn't Huey have so many points that nobody can catch him? Also, I think, I don't know how the system works, but I think my points reset after this first season. They Well, they won't reset completely, but each season is going to have its own it's amount of points. very hard. I don't even know what number of points I have that will cycle out sure. and how many points I'll have later, so I'm just not keeping an well, eye on I'll it. I'll be able to uh, to recap those in the preview articles for mm -hmm. each open series going forward, so it'll be easier for people at home to keep track. You should keep an eye out for that in our preview articles going forward, but, uh, but yeah, Huey does have a pretty big lead yeah. able to take down a, ma making back-to-back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back top eights. Seems hard to catch. pretty Im pretty <laughs> impossible, although you've had a pretty good year. It's, it's arguable that last year was even better than your Player of the Year year in 2000 11 because you made your first Pro Tour top eight and you won back to back Grand Prix. It's true. And so you're you're keeping up that streak going. Uh, I think uh, you, you would definitely give a lot of your credit to the Peach Garden Oath team of Reed Duke and Huey Jensen. It's really late, raised all of your games to another level. Mm -hmm. How has working with those two gentlemen uh, improved your game? I mean, there's no two ways around it. They're both incredible players, and playing with them just makes me want to be better to be as good as those guys, sure. so, I mean, well, not sure what else to say. Watching all three of you makes everyone want to be better, <laughs> but uh, not not all of us can or be. Or give up because they have no chance. Exactly, there you go. <laughs> or, or do coverage. Yeah. Uh, it's much easier for me to be in the winner's interview on this side than it is on that side. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, so what, what's what's next for you? Um, not sure. I'm going to go to Grand Prix Sacramento, which is great. Uh, I'm going to go to the Pro Tour and then probably Barcelona afterwards, just Team Grand Prix. Cool, excellent. Well, we're going to be keeping an eye on you, of course, all the way throughout. Owen Turtenwald, your standard open champion. Congrats one more time. Thank you. Here from Indianapolis, and we're going to toss it back to the booth.